In this video, we will calculate y1 and y2 at x is equal to 1 using implicit Euler's method. And this right here is the formula for implicit Euler's method. And so let's get started. So we want to find y1 and y2 when x is equal to 1. We know the value when x is 0. We know what y1 and y2 would be. And so we have two equations here. This is going to be for y1, and this right here is going to be for y2. So we can say that y1, parentheses 1, because we're trying to find the value of y1 when x is 1. And so essentially, we're going to say that i is 0. If i is 0, we add 1 and we get 1 here. i, in this case, is essentially like x. So we know the value of x as being 0. So we can say that yi 0 would be, which would be 2. So we can say that this right here is equal to 2. The 2 right here corresponds to yi plus delta x. The step size is 1. It says so right here. So plus 1 times parentheses. We use this equation right here to represent this. So um, x would be 1 because we're saying plus 1. So in this case, x is 1. And so we put 1 times y1 parentheses 1. We don't know the value for y1 when x is 0. So I'm going to put y1 like this, minus 3 parentheses uh, y2 parentheses 1. Again, this right here, because it says i plus 1. We know the value when, when it's just i, but we don't know the value when it's plus 1, meaning we don't know the value when we have a 1 right here or a 1 right here. That is something that we're trying to find. And so that's, that's how we're going to leave it as. And now we will do the second equation, the same exact idea. And if you notice, we have yi and y2, two unknowns. Having the second equation will give us two equations to solve for two unknowns. So same idea, y2, parentheses 1. And that's going to equal to yi. So yi was 1. So y2, parentheses 0, is equal to 1. So we say it's equal to 1 plus. So the step size was uh, 1. So plus 1 times the equation, this equation right here. So 3 times uh, y1 parentheses 1 minus x squared. x was 1, so 1 squared times y2 for 1, like this. And now we have two um, equations and we have two unknowns. One unknown is y1 parentheses 1. The other unknown is y2 parentheses 1. Um, I will solve this question using systems of equations using my TI Inspire CX costs. So let's do so. So I'll hit menu, algebra, uh, 7, solve systems of equation. We have two um, unknowns. So y1 when x is equal to 1 and y2 when x is equal to 1. Um, just to make our lives easier, I will say y1 and y2. So we have y1 is equal to 2 plus 1 times parentheses 1 times y1 minus 3 times y2 like this. This right here is the first equation. Second equation was y2 is equal to 1 plus 1 times parentheses 3 times y1 minus 1 squared times y2 like this. Simply hit enter. And this right here is the final answer. So y1 parentheses 1 is equal to 1 over 9. And y2 parentheses 1 is equal to 2 over 3. So just to be clear, I will write down the answer here also. So y1 parentheses 1 is equal to 1 over 9. And y2 parentheses 1 is equal to 2 over 3. I suppose if you were to solve this question purely by hand, the one step that you would want to do is instead of saying y1 parentheses 1, you would just say y1. And this way, you're solving two unknowns and two variables pretty clearly.
And that's all we need to do for this problem.